Hello guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to remove the headlight switch in a 2001 Ford Focus. Why would you want to do this? Maybe your switch is defective, maybe you want to change the LEDs inside of it, cause yeah, it has LEDs, and in my case, it had some contact problems. Now let's get into a video. You know the drill, just remove that piece of plastic from the underside of the dash that is held in by these 5 screws. Make sure you put the screws in a uh, good location so you don't uh, lose them and uh, I left the middle top one in just so I have an easier job. After you remove the middle top one the plastic piece is only held in by one clip. Now you can pull it out but gently make sure you don't damage any of the wires leading to the OBD2 port. As you can see here I'm still holding it with one hand after which I use two hands and gently pry it open. After that you can remove this plastic piece that actually covers the three screws that hold the switch in place. Be gentle with the plastic piece because you don't want to damage anything that is uh, related to the vents. Now take a look there are three Phillips head screws that hold the switch in place. Unfortunately you can see the third one because I positioned the camera in a stupid spot. So now you need to remove these three screws. Unfortunately for me the radio controls uh, were right in the way and uh, maybe if you don't have them you have an easier job if you move the steering wheel. Now that you managed to get the switch out take a look at it where uh, is that pin thingy that you need to press and take out the connector but uh, make sure you don't uh, pull it from the wires because you don't want to rip any wires off. Congratulations now you have the switch in your hand if you want to replace it, there you go, but uh, I will need to clean it. Because just as I said at the beginning of the video, I have contact problems. My dash backlight just goes out randomly, but if I turn the whole thingy off and back on again, it works. So I got some contact cleaner uh, spray and uh, spray the connectors. Fair enough, it works now, at least for me. Before I continue on how to disassemble the switch and access the LED backlights, I will ask you to please subscribe so YouTube can't screw me because I don't have 1000 subscribers. Now back to the video. To disassemble the top part of the switch there are these 4 pins that you need to like, I don't know, pop them out and after that you need to turn the switch from the zero position to the side marker's position and pull it out twice if you can. After that you have enough space to like twist and pull uh, that plastic part off. There you go. Now take a good look at it and make sure you don't lose the parts. And try to memorize the positions of the dials or whatever the rotating parts are called and after that uh, disassemble them. So this is the fiddly part. Try to take your time and do not rush. Now you will need to pop out the other four pins that hold the assembly together and if I remember correctly you had to twist the switch to the left position and after that uh, you could remove it. Now you're left uh, with only the circuit board with the LEDs on it and the circuit board is held in place by those wires in those clips. Make sure you gently pop it out, hopefully with a plastic tool. Unfortunately I did use my uh, flathead screwdriver wasn't the best idea but uh, it was the only thing I had at hand. Anyway now you have the circuit board in your hand and uh, you can change the LEDs to whatever colors you want. Oh yeah uh, I should warn you about, about this little thing the forward voltage of the different colored LEDs is different so make sure you choose the correct ones and compensate with the correct resistors but altogether this is your choice. So thank you very much for watching I hope this video helped you out, if it did please leave a like and uh, subscribe so you know YouTube doesn't screw me and as always have a nice day and for a free out.